Hello, Steve Mills here. I've got a question for you. You know how it is? You know how it is when you're in a meeting and somebody's trying to sell you something, you know, they're, they're pitching their products and you're, you're listening intently and they're talking about how they can help you to, you know, reduce costs, increase sales, uh, become more effective, save time. Um, or lose weight, or improve your fitness, or build your whatever. But they're, you know, they're they're presenting all the benefits, all the reasons, and all the things that they say that they can do. But deep down, there's just something making you think. Do you know what? I'm really not sure about this person. Not that they, I don't trust them. It's just that I don't trust them enough to give them my money. And I, I think that comes down to sort of one word, and that is credibility. And, and for me, one of the biggest problems that I see with small businesses is that they're lacking in credibility. And, you know, what do I mean? Well, I mean that, you know, they come along and they'll tell you how great they are and that they're, you know, they're, they're you know, the best at what they do. And yet you have a look at their business card. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? It really doesn't say that. And then perhaps you go to their website and, you know, that doesn't say that either. You know, it's, it's got a blog on there that's not had a blog post since you know, 2017, you know, and, uh, you know, the website's just clearly not up to date. And it really doesn't look like what I call a modern website. It's it's an old fashioned website. And, you know, they, they, the way they look just doesn't quite fit in with uh, who they are, or who they say they are, and what they can do for me. I will always remember, you know, uh, I attended a networking event and I met an, an IFA, Independent Financial Advisor. And at the end of the meeting, we'd got on really well. We were sat next to each other. And at the end of the meeting, um, he sort of put a bit of a pitch on me, you know, and he said, look, uh, we got on great, Steve, and, I, I, you know, perhaps I can come and have a look at your finances and see if I can help you in any way. And I, slightly reluctantly, because I wasn't really sure, I said, okay. Now, we walked out of the building and we shook hands in the car park and I went off to my car, he went off to his car and I happened to notice the car he was driving. And he was driving a car that was probably worth about 150 pounds. Now, you know, perhaps it was his daughter's car or his son's car. Perhaps his car had broken down and he'd loaned a car from a friend or perhaps there were loads of other reasons why he was driving around in a 150 pound car as a financial advisor. But for me, that just like he went, he, he totally and utterly lost all his credibility you know and you know for me i want my financial advisor to be seriously wealthy you know i don't want somebody who's driving around in a 150 pound car advising me about finances now you could argue that well you know perhaps he's very astute and thrifty and you know he's all about saving money and so on and so forth but you know but certainly for me that totally and utterly put me off and uh, I cancelled the meeting. So what's the point in telling you that story? I, I want you to take a look at you. I want you to take a look at you in terms of how you dress, what you wear, how you look, uh, your sort of, I call them your marketing materials, but I'm thinking of things like your, you know, the pen you use, the pad, you know, if you're making notes and things, um, I don't know, maybe your, uh, uh, your business card, certainly, things like that, your, your, your marketing paraphernalia, I can't really say that, um, uh, around you. Uh, I want you to also look at things like your car and stuff like that, you know, there's an argument 
a very good friend of mine said when he started in business he used to have an old van and he used to park 200 yards away he's now got a brand new Ferrari and he still parks 200 yards away you know so the perception uh, about him in his Ferrari now is different to what it was in the van but potentially it's still a problem uh, for some people so uh, you know think about that think about your office you know what does that look like is it clean is it smart is it easy to come to get to uh, does it look professional what do the, your team look like you know are they uh, do they look professional uh, do they come across in a friendly way and so on and so forth because I believe you know that people buy from people that they know like and trust and they also buy products that they know like and trust and they also buy from companies that they know like and trust so my question for you or questions are these on a scale of 1 to 10 with 1 being poor 5 being average 10 being couldn't be any better how good are you and your business at getting people to know, like, and trust you? So if you took you, for example, you know, there's various things you could do to improve how much people know, like, and trust you. You take your products. Is there a way of getting your products in front of people so that people know, like, and trust your products? And what about your company? Could you do the same thing there? You take a look at a company like, for example, Apple. You know, they're masters at this. You know, I, I go in the Apple shop and I know Apple. You know, one of the most famous brands in the world. So it's a big tick there. Uh, you look at their products. I know pretty much all their products. I know them really well. The only one I don't get is the watch, but uh, that's another story. But then I walk in there and I have two or three or four people coming up to me straight away offering to help. So I don't you know, you know, yet know, like and trust that person. Uh, but one thing I will tell you about going into an Apple store, if you've never done it, is that the people in there, well, firstly, there are people in there. Uh, and so you're not waiting around for 20 minutes trying to find somebody to serve you. Secondly, those people are really highly skilled and highly trained um, and thirdly the customer service is absolutely fantastic so they're, they're getting a nine or a ten from me uh, on, on all those counts and you know I would never go anywhere else I never buy anything other than an apple why would I uh, and so you know think about that as uh, a metaphor for you getting people to know like and trust you your products and your company. Thank you ever so much for listening and uh, if I can help you further I'd love to do so and we can uh, be contacted at www.stevemills.co. Thanks very much for listening.